I am actually torn. I don't know what's best for, <laughs> for me to do. We'll tell you one thing, though. I'm going to teach the French a lesson, maybe. Or conquer Canada. That does sound quite appealing. Then they can't stop me from moving there. <laughs> do I want it harder to justify on people? I say nay. The power of the goatee compels you. The power of the goatee compels you. The power of the goatee compels you. To comment, like, subscribe! <laughs> oh. Let's just get on with the video, shall we? Today we're playing Hearts of Iron 4. To no surprise. To no, to no one's surprise whatsoever. And you may think that you've seen these curtains before. Well, technically you have, yes. I have. I, I think the last time I played the Apre Moi Le Deluge mod was about two and a half years ago, where I just tried to turn France into a massive baguette. So, that's... <laughs> S-tier content, I'm sure we can all agree. But we I've evolved since then. I've got this. Wow. So if you're not familiar with the Apre Moi Le Deluge mod, it is kind of like, um... What if Napoleon had won, uh... His kerfuffles. But that took way too long. Uh, so yes, let's let the empire established by Napoleon was supposed to civilize the world, bringing peace to Europe and glory to France. It succeeded for a hundred years, but the peace was shattered in the most traumatizing way imaginable. Once the great kerfuffle had been won by France just a few short years ago, where the English and Russians, her perpetual enemies, were humiliated. So that's the basis of the mod, really. And let's take a little look at the world. I just wanted to play this again because it's one that's. I, I, I think this is one of the first mods I started playing um, when I when I when I first started playing Hearts of Iron, and I think I played as the Empire of China actually, and it's a mod that although it's been kept up to date with all the recent Hoi patches and updates, I'm not sure how it'll work anymore. It's just been I think it's just been mainly updated as 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 Hoi was updated, so nothing's really been added since like 2017. There might have been little minor additions, but apart from that, it's it's quite basic. But I was just in the mood to play it, so that's what I'm going to do. I don't always need a reason to do a scenario. Just want just, just wanted to play it, really. Oh, uh, yes, I quite like this mode. All nations will tend to the more extreme options. Tick that. That ticks my box. <laughs> Cheeky. Uh, but this is the state of the world, so Germany is no longer Germany. It's all kind of split up. And uh, Von Mackensen has actually got his own little ultra-nationalist dictatorship. Uh, the Polish Empire's around. We've got the Republic of Ukraine. The Russian Empire still kind of exists. Although, Luxembourg is a bit of a chonker. Look at that! Good for you, Marie Adelaide! Oh, Edward VIII leads the United Kingdom. The fighting king. My, my, my. Do you know what? It's actually been a little while since I've played as the UK, I think. Oh my god. I, I, I've recorded so many Hoi videos over the years, I've actually forgotten <laughs> everyone that I've done. I'm just going to look through my most recent uploads. Oh, a few weeks ago I did do the Anglo-Dutch Empire. That's not the same thing. That's not the same. Let's move on from that. Yeah, I'm going to play as the Kingdom of United Britain, led by Edward VIII. Boom. We've got the... Oh, that's not good. We do have a fighting king, though. Edward VIII ascended to the throne upon the death of his father in 1936. He was captured... Oh! Oh no, he captured the popular match. Sorry, I'm not wearing my glasses. Uh, I could abolish the monarchy. Oh, oh no, 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 no! Uh, I could align Spain. Mm, or oh, we can claim Canada. Canada? Ooh. Britain has sometimes seen herself as separate from Europe, as being self-contained in splendid isolation. This attitude was recently put aside when the French vulture sought to feast on the carrion of yet more imperial conquests. Italy, Poland and Hungary were finally breaking free from the talons gripping them, and the British lion would be their guarantor. For his compassion, the lion was butchered on the beaches of Dunkirk. For his benevolence, the lion had his claws torn out by the Treaty of Versailles. The lion is not a stupid beast, and he has learned the mistakes of compassion of benevolence when dealing with vultures. Let's just see what happens. This is what I like. Uh, so, like, w when mods are kind of in a very... At least I presume this is going to be, still be a playable state. Oh, I remember why I didn't really do much, because the folk... Yeah, I remember why I didn't play this mod that much. Yeah, all of the focus trees are, are kind of the same. No one really has many unique focuses. I think that's why I didn't cover the mod that much. It's just even the French Empire. Yeah, even the French Empire is still a bit like, eh. But you know what? 
let's give it the good old Rambler try. We are in the Commonwealth. Who's with us? Oh, we still got a little bit. The amount of factories that I have aren't... Uh, it's not particularly great. I could do... Oh, I could align Portugal. Ooh, and align Spain. So we got a couple of unique focuses here. We've got Divine Right, Popular Sovereignty... I would like to keep a... Uh, yeah. I don't want to abolish the monarchy. But from the off, I should probably focus on getting some factories. I am actually torn. I don't know what's best for, <laughs> for me to do. We'll tell you one thing, though. I'm going to teach the French a lesson, maybe. Or conquer Canada. That does sound quite appealing. Then they can't stop me from moving there. <laughs> oh, we've got Malta. Nice. Very nice indeed. And Hong Kong. So we've, got, we've still got a few to... Oh, Port Edward, you say. Nice. Dominions in the Commonwealth are self-governing British colonies. We prefer the status quo. Yep, I don't really want them to uh, <laughs> uh, really kind of get away from me here. Ah, the ruling classes of the world have breathed a sigh of relief today as tension surrounding the Paris parades dissipates under the rays of a new dawn. Commonwealth reforms are sidelined. The natural order is being upheld, indeed. Quite so. Okay, so Germany is in a big old kerfuffle to start off with. Yeah, we've got Westphalia, People's Republic, Teutonic Reich. Just let them fight amongst themselves. I don't rightly care. The continental system still technically exists. Do I want to join the League of Nations? Oh, sure. I'd love to vote on stuff. But the continental system doesn't really seem that powerful. Austrian Empire, I imagine, is going to try and rebuild. Do I want it harder to justify on people? I say nay. Oh, we can get some cabinet ministers. Don't mind if I do, sir. Is there anything captain of industry? Oh, that's right. You can get a supernatural mystic protection from curses. Yeah. Yes, I would like that. <laughs> uh, yes, I will vote for that one. Absolutely. If the votes just become quite um, annoying, I will just leave the League. At least I hope I can leave the League of Nations. The universities in the capital, the London area, have suffered some unexplained disappearances among the senior research staff. Oh. Many of them are reportedly critics of the newly opened Department of Agnostic Conjuration and Experimental Fomatology. And our cabinet minister for supernatural affairs believes that sceptical minds of the scientists allowed them all to fall prey to possession attempts by invading demons. <laughs> Do anything to remember it takes to prevent more disappearances. You must stop them, sir. Oh, Serbia is now in the central powers. All right, okay, 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 okay. I could just beeline this part and then I can start claiming Ireland. Yes, I think that's quite a good idea, don't you? Why, yes, Alex. You do know what you're talking about. Oh, the interpreters of Napoleon. Uh, division recovery rate for three years. Yeah. Clausewitz understood modern war. Carl von Clausewitz. Very good. Central powers are expanding once again. Oh, that's a big central block, isn't it? Makes sense, because they are the central powers, Alex. Good giddly goo. This mod runs very quickly. It's great. Look how fast my five speed is. Look at that! Look at Just look at it! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, Austria's joined the continental system. That, this is going to blow up. A powder keg, as some may say. Then I would probably... Mm, yeah, I would definitely gang up on Napoleon too. I'm not really in a position at the moment. My... Uh, I'm not in a very good way. Maybe after a little cheeky conquest of Ireland. Not going to bother with bombers, instead go for more fighters. I generally like getting signal companies in all of my divisions, just because of the initiative. I find it's very useful. Oh, I should probably get the Hurricanes. Yes. yes. Civil rights activists in the United Kingdom have criticised Edward VIII's government for a perceived lack of progress. Well, you know what? I'm leaving then. Screw you. I'm leaving the League of Nations. Whatever. Do what I want. National unity. Hey, gimme, gimme. Our purpose has been made clear and we have rallied the hesitant and silenced the critics, but we must demonstrate our purpose to the populace. And then uh, that will get rid of that. Oh, yeah, baby. I shall prepare the. I shall never surrender. Uh, yep. <laughs> I have all my alerts and stuff disabled. And in fact, I don't even use my recording setup for alerts anymore, but they're still. Hmm. Okay, I will... I'm pretty much going to set up, like, a ton of naval invasions from Liverpool. 
and just try and invade the entire east coast of Ireland and just see how that goes. Many people may perish, but we will endure. Might be getting a little bit ahead of myself. Nah. Wouldn't it be a bit, be a bit awkward if they managed to uh, fend off my, my invasions pretty easily? Just a little bit embarrassing, but I'm sure I'm sure it's, this is all going to go absolutely fine. <laughs> it's like Germany is just in a complete stalemate, eh? I just need some factories for free. Oh, give them to me. Like I, I'd update my infantry. Oh, they're actually 20 combat width. Oh, oh. Benito Mussolini has announced the formation of the Roman Empire as the legal successor of Italy. Sure, mate. Sure. You do whatever you need. Yeah, wealth tension's getting a bit on the high side for me liking. French typing alliance. Bloody hell. Okay, let's let's align Spain. Come on in. France rewarded her ally with several pieces of the broken British Empire. Oh, I don't know if I want them in. We go sailing. Oh dear. The Irish were more prepared than I had anticipated. But we are landing. Yes, good stuff, sir. Surround Belfast. Get in there, son. If I could just take one port, we should be good in the hood. Oh, come on. Let me take it, please. Did I get it? I got Belfast. And I got Dublin. I got them both. <laughs> I honestly wasn't expecting that. Um, that's very surprising, actually. You see, I'm not bad at the game. Oh, we're losing. This naval invasion has actually gone really quite smoothly now. Very nice. Hold on, have I taken almost as many casualties? Yeah. I was naval invading though, so, you know. Irish surrender. We prefer to annex Ireland as a colony. I do need the factories, to be honest. Nice for them to try and surrender though. To victory! If I can go to Limerick and then Galway. I apologise if anyone's Irish. I know people always get really um, offended when I conquer their nation that they live in. I'm just playing a video game. Please don't get offended. It's kind of odd what what bothers people sometimes. Boom. Get some factories. Right. What's next? Oh, yeah. Let's see if Spain actually joins me. Noish. Yes, they did. Anything to help, really. Unless I line Portugal, too. And then I might go after Canada. Republican International. Oh, Ukraine and Belarus are in the same faction. It's really weird. I don't know why that would be, but I just... Uh, better. I still need more civilian factories. This is pretty bonkers. It's just my lack of industry. Oh, it's like I'd never had the Industrial Revolution. What the frick is happening? I guess I have lost my entirety of Africa. Oh, what? Yeah, Spain got the hold of frickin' Egypt. You having a giraffe, mate? Ah, Portugal has joined too. Very nice. Damn it, I forgot about that. But at least we'll have a little bit of assistance if we do need to have a bit of a, a cheeky war. And let's start adding more divisions into the field. So my social order is currently robber barons. Yeah, I like that. Oh, I could give people some democratic drift. No, I'm going to keep it as this. Yeah, prepared vote. Poll taxes preclude the vote to those who own homes or land of sufficient value. Quite. Oh, I, would, I wouldn't have done that if I were you, Ottoman Empire. Um, good luck. It might actually be time to invade Quebec because Ru the Russian Empire is at war with the Republican International. Oh, I remember this. The cursed fellow. Or the portrait, at least. Oh, Canada. Oh, Canada. Oh, Rio de la Plata, the Empire of Brazil. We've got the Republic of Gran Colombo. I think for a mod that was released in 2017 and, and is still like in fairly the same state that it was in back then, they've done a good job at just keeping it updated for everyone. The Empire of Mexico has joined the Russian bloc. Okay. Oh, bloody Nora. Russia's losing. Britain claims Quebec. Oh, let me at them. I'm going to call in my allies, too. <laughs> you may invade when ready. Are you serious? Oh, damn it. Naval supremacy zero. No! Okay, so we're defeating the Quebec Navy. In fact, they just got absolutely ruffle stomped. Oh, okay, they're moving now. Uh, the na I, I, I still haven't figured out the naval system. 
Like overall, it's I, I, I still don't really get it. I, I don't like the I, I've never liked their new naval updates. I just find it confusing for the most part. Maybe I'm just a bit dumb. I don't think so. Come on, take Gatsby. Come on. So I'm hoping once we've conquered Quebec, I can go after France. I just need to build up my strength a little bit more. But I don't think Quebec can be able, will be able to hold out. Yeah, and it's just Quebec, and then the whole faction capitulates. That'll be quite tasty. Oh, and we've taken Quebec City. I've been to Quebec City, by the way. It's very nice. Same with Montreal. Both great places. Would highly recommend visiting. I'd say Quebec City is the place to go for a bit of culture, and then Montreal is like a party city. It's good fun. I don't know where their army's gone to. I think they might have deployed most of their army over to this front where they're defeating Russia. Ha <laughs> ha! I took advantage of their weakness! Or they're just in the north of Canada, which is a bit weird. Oh, 69 factories. Giggity giggity. Giggity goo. I'm a 30 year old man. I shouldn't be. <laughs> I don't need to make those kind of jokes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Quebec has been on a bit of a recruiting drive. That's quite annoying. They will fall eventually. They must. I will conquer! Let's try and take their capital. Might be a bit of a grind to capitulate them, but we'll get there eventually. Or my name is an Alex the Rambaloo. Well, it, actually, it's not. Surprisingly. Oh dear. Our allies, kind of allies from Mexico, appear to have been en circle. In the north, though, we're making progress. Little by little, give you everything you ever dreamed of. Give me Quebec. Yeah, things are slow going. Now we're into kind of like the frozen land of, of Canada. Bit frustrating. I'm going to have to invest in a lot of infrastructure here, I think, to keep my supply going up. Okay, yeah, every territory we take is noish. Yeah, they're really pushing uh, towards Ontario. Oh, they're still in the... <laughs> oh dear. Oh, that's all. Oh my. I need to get Quebec taken out soon so I can focus on the real threat, which is Napoleon. It looks like Russia is in dire straits. That's not good. Um, oh dear. I really need to take them out quickly. I'm sure you can understand moving in this kind of area of the world uh, or coordinating any kind of military is just uh, it'd be practically impossible but we're doing it slowly but surely well i do have 25 divisions ready for a an invasion of, uh, of france the french empire will be humbled i hope oh wow they just <laughs> they're up in the islands really okay what will it take to defeat these Dastardly French slash Quebecois. Am I gonna have to take every freaking tile? I'll do it. I'm not happy about it. I'll do it. They must have like no industry left, surely. Surely. How many casualties? They've taken almost half a million. Wow. Give it kudos to the Quebecois. There's a there's a there's a fast food chicken place called Saint uh, Saint Hubert in in Quebec, uh, and in the rest of Canada there's Swiss Chalet. Uh, I'm sorry to say that. Um, I very much prefer Swiss Chalet to Saint Hubert. My only experience of that, though, was in like a, um, like a, far, a fast food version of it, uh, just in a, a motorway service station. So maybe, maybe I haven't had the best experience of Saint Hubert. If you're from Quebec and you see this video, please let me know if I'm mistaken. Okay, through sheer force of will, we will take this back. And then it's time for the French. What is it going to take to capitulate them? This is ridiculous. Just die! <laughs> America claims Quebec. Bruh. I mean, that might help. Just finish them off a little bit quicker. Yeah, that... that okay, they're going to be invading from up there. Okay, that's fine. Oh, no. Oh, no. I was too late. The continental system might be too powerful for me to defeat. Oh, dear. Although the Chinese block is now a thing. Apparently. <laughs> oh, my goodly goo. Oh, we've encircled, I think, the last of the Quebecois army. Noish. What else do they need to lose here? They've got nothing left. Come on now. If I actually have to take these poxy little... If that's what I have to take, oh my god. I actually have to take this poxy island up here. <sighs> this is terrible for me. I don't know how I'm meant to take on this whole continent now. If they now have divisions here, surely they don't have any... Yeah, they've got no manpower or... and zero factory um oh god well at least we'll take the island so then it's over 
It's done. Oh, yes. Okay, in the occupied territories, I should probably... Oh, no, it's all going down. Resistance is going down now. Good. A bit confused as to why we're still at war with people, but I I'm not going to bother getting in involved with this. I'm going to try for a bit of a... Probably a, a suicide attack on France, but trying to take down this whole continental system will probably result in my doom. But got to give it a try, eh? Can't let Napoleon the Fourth get all the glory. In fact, this is probably a very stupid idea to do this. But um, I'm full of those. So the amount of oil that you have to buy in order to keep the British Navy out in the water is quite frankly bonkers. Oh, I can kamikaze strike. Sure. <laughs> okay. Well, um... Well, let's give it a try. The good old Rambler try, eh? We lack sufficient intel to dare sending... In... What do you mean I know too little about this region? This doesn't make any sense to me. I... 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 Well, I took Calais. Well, let's see how far we can take it. I'm guessing not very. What? How can they invade in Scotland? When I... And I'm out of oil again. Oh. I remember why I don't like playing as the UK now. Unless I'm just making a complete hash of this. If I can take Paris, I'm just saying I've won. Which I'm not able to. Of course I'm not. Well, just try and hold. Because I think I'm probably, probably, slightly outnumbered. Yeah, 7 million man. <laughs> like the French Empire, I think I could have taken down if they didn't just... I think, like, one nation... Once they've defeated one nation, it just capitulated the whole faction. And I don't see myself being able to beat off this amount of crap. Yeah, they're kind of blockading me, so I can't even get stuff. Like, we are defeating the French Navy, but overall, it's... You can see that I'm not going to win that. Wait, did, did Spain not join me? Traitorous bastards. <laughs> yeah, that continental system. I'm taking on the whole of the EU, pretty much. Spain's holding, though. Wish they wouldn't attack. That's not good news. Spain is just going to waste itself. Yeah, if I could have um, attacked France a little bit earlier, the whole situation would be very different. Unfortunately, I couldn't, because I went after Quebec like an idiot. Ugh, I went after the smaller prize. Well, at least they're not trying to attack me. They are, however, defeating Spain. You had such a good defensive position, Spain, and you screwed yourself. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, wow. Oh, French India. Oh, they're doing stuff. My allies are doing stuff. Oh, am I... Am I... Am I, am I, am I, am I, why am I at war in heaven the kingdom? Come on, mate. That's just dumb. If I could afford to, I'd send some infantry down to help Spain, but I, I kind of have my own issues. It looks like the Russian Empire managed to take what they needed. Very nice. Would, uh, Ottomans, would you like to join me? I, I could really use some assistance. Oh, God, Spain! Tell you what, Russia, rather than volunteers... Oh, never mind, their offer went away. I say, rather than volunteers, you could just declare war. <laughs> I need the help. Oh my god, take Paris. Come on, tankies! Damn it. So I don't have uh, any kind of aerial superiority at all, so it, it makes it very difficult for me to even try and move. And I'm constantly out of fuel because I, I, I can't. Like, they, they just convoy raid me. Like, the French are actually running out of equipment in their division, so I, I, I thought it would be like a fairly simple route to try and take Paris. In fact, it might be... Da -da 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 -da. Oh, and French India has capitulated. Oh, you are having a giraffe. Come on, just let me have this. You don't even want it. Doing a little bit of a cheeky assault. Uh, although, did I set this too aggressive? Oh dear. Oh, that might have messed up my front lines probably a bit too much. Although I was overrunning them for a time. Wow, bim bam boom. Come on, just let me take Paris. I don't care what happens to my army after that. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. And then I just burn Paris to the ground, and then we just say I've won. Okay? I think... <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm totally screwed. <laughs> Maybe if I had, like, until 1950 and I started nuking everything, uh, then, then we might be able to uh, get this out of the bag. But, yeah, like, it's just the amount of allies that they have. I can't compete with trying to take out Germany, France, Italy, Austria, Poland, Romania... Bulgaria, and then my main ally is, is, is doomed. I took Paris. That means I won. Oh, let's try and take Versailles away from the Emperor as well. Okay, 
We took Versailles and we took Paris. Screw you, Napoleon. I've won. Goodbye. Many thanks to Onion Duck, Maximilian Foreman, Wyatt Green, Fat Boston, Zechariah Mosby, Warren P. George, Gregory Craven, Adave, The Don, Lambert, Valhalla Halls, Goosey Dibs, Ya yeah Boy, Wombat Cookie, Dad Falcon, Ryan Koch, Jack Troku, Aiden Shear, Jiggly Crotch, Use Beef, Sean Young, and Logan Whaley for being ridiculous brand supporters on Patreon, and many thanks to all the other patrons too!